Yeah, I'm ready. Motion, but I felt that way. Um, oh, they, they applaud. So they applaud for having a violent, um, violent thoughts, and like, it's perfectly okay. Like, yeah, you go, girl. Yeah, stab that guy. No, well, because we live in a Sandra Shill. No. Yeah, but apparently we live in a misogyny. I mean, you know, a patriarchy. Man. So you think he's violated his duties as an educator and as a teacher? Absolutely. Whether she was 18 or not. He was in a position of authority. I trusted him with my child, and that's not okay. He knew better, and he was impulsive and selfish, and he's Just like you. It. Just like me. I want to talk with them. Okay. I would like to have you there. She's probably mad because he's not supposed to act like her because, you know, <laughs> she's a woman. She's, you know, that's that's what they do. Are, are you willing to come out and sit with us and talk about this? Um, I will. I'll come out. Well, we're going to all sit down talk this through in just a moment. We'll be right back. Bye, thanks, man. I think you have no moral compass. I think you're arrogant. I think you're self-serving. I feel like we're in a custody dispute. You're the dad, I'm the mom, this is the child. Oh, wait a minute. my girlfriend. Yeah. Let's come to me, provided by... It's over for this set. Anyway. All right. Who you just hear what I heard? I heard. It's about competition, isn't it? Yep. It's the only thing this poop mouse understands. Yeah, I don't think you love bronchial child. I think you're, uh, you actually hate him. I call James the arrogant pervert. To engage in a dialogue with a child at 17 shows a perversion. I think oh, after so the initial <laughs> shell shock of it's all of like, this... If you're 17, you're, uh, if, if someone's 17, don't talk to him. Else you're pervert. I'm frustrated. I'm angry. But I'm adamant. I'm still going to collect and find information to have James Hooker arrested. I hope he goes to jail. I've been backstage talking with Jordan's mother, Tammy. She and James have never met until now. Tammy, come on in. No, she's actually kind of on our side. She wants him to go to jail. The more money gets sent to jail, the faster this fucking corrupt system falls apart, so... Hell, my because he'll gain a criminal record, he won't be able yeah. to pay taxes, and then the system of entitlements will collapse because there's no money to finance. Hell, it. might as well send us all to jail. I'm sure they, I'm sure they can find plenty of fucking made like you know bullshit reasons to put us in prison. So fuck, might as well send us all in. At least then everything will crumble. Yeah, we'll and then the these bitches because they bite the hand that feeds them and do all that shit. Yeah, I that guy. Look at this bitch. Now, what did you think about what your mother had to say when we were talking backstage? I, just, I love it, because on any other show, the guy's like, yeah, I, I uh, whatever she doesn't do, I told you, I slap that bitch in the face. And then everyone, boo, murr, murr. Can you imagine if, like, all the men in the crowd pl uh, applauded? Like, what would happen? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <clears throat> um, I never admitted to a hotel room because that wasn't true. I never once said that. And the day, she did say that she was going to stop him. And she's pretty crazy, so I, I knew that if he came to the front yard, she would stop him. What do you want to say uh, to James? I think you have no moral compass. I think you're arrogant. I think you're self-serving. I think you're selfish. I think you're ruining my child. Pause it. I mean, that, that, that's all she can do. She's trying to destroy this guy. But when in reality, she's 
do you think she's describing stuff about herself but claims that you know tries to make it look like she's describing him could be I mean projection <clears throat> I don't think she's doing it consciously but well no 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 I mean but you know what I'm saying right I mean she is projecting though right I'd say so because I mean literally um I mean, look, she's the one that I, don't I got more like, I just love how the... Literally, they're just fucking reinforcing the goddamn bullshit stereotype of women because... Supposedly. Because apparently this woman who's 18 years old can't make her own fucking decisions. Like, like you're ruining my child. It's like, how much of a fucking baby is she? Is she like, is she like a little fetus and she just looks like a fucking 18-year-old? <laughs> because... <laughs> you know, I was under the impression that when you're 18, you make your own bullshit decisions. Well, yeah, she's old enough to go in the military. Exactly. So, uh, not that it, would, <clears throat> not that it would be a big deal for her to go to that. It's not like she'll die or anything. But uh, anyway, it's just like how I mean, you know, women are strong and independent. All this bullshit, right? So mm -hmm. why does she need so much coddling? Why can't she just like do her own fucking thing? That's what I don't get. Like, no, see, that's because you're thinking rationally and you're expecting to be on yeah, that yeah, bitch's no. level. I mean, you can't think rationally and then be on her same level. I mean, you know, you just basically got to be a dumb fuck in order to be on that woman's level. Pretty much. <clears throat> that's why uh, Dr. Phil's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty much the same as her. What do you want to see happen? Oh, I want her to leave. She doesn't need to be with him. This serves your purpose for you, not for her. This is all about you. It's 50-50. 50-50? you're a child. I bought lunchables for you. You didn't buy Two lunchables Two weeks ago, you're a kid. He's an adult. Pause that. He knows better. Can you understand? Man, uh, lunchables, really? That's all she can come up with? I know, because last year I was 31 years old, yeah. and I was sitting in the break room at my job eating Lunchables. It, why? Because they were cheap. Shit, I'm 20 and I ate one like <clears throat> last week. They're fucking... It's fucking food. Like, that's all she can call. <laughs> what about food for you? Oh, okay. Well, the mom might as well say, I took you to McDonald's and we got a Happy Meal and yeah. you got a toy inside. Exactly. <clears throat> it's just as bullshit. It's like... It's a... God damn. And she's getting all the applause. Like no one even thinks. Like, she's getting all the applause because she's got a vagina, and she thinks exactly irrationally. That's what I'm saying, you know. And the whole fucking audience is pretty much a vagina. Damn how she feels. And the kid's being more of an adult. Where she's coming from. And the kid is being yeah, more of an adult than the mom is. Yeah. And the thing that like pisses me off is the fact that like, literally, the only reason everyone's applauding is because a guy's getting torn apart. That's the only reason they don't care why or why you know. And yeah, he may he is guilty. He may be guilty. Whatever. The point is, as far as they know, they don't know. They're not a fucking part of it. But these women get to see a man get torn up on stage. So oh, it's yeah. like a gladiatorial sport. Pretty much. You know, I wanted to mention something that we didn't get around to mentioning. Uh, what was it? Uh, last week or whenever you came over, <clears throat> and we were watching the Amber Portwood stuff. Um, just before I forget, I want to mention that um, that even though in this incident Amber Portwood was kicking the crap out of Gary Shirley, her uh, her boyfriend, fiance, and all that, the baby's daddy, in doing it with the child in the room in front of the child and all that, uh, everybody, okay, um, Amber Portwood did go to jail. She got some form of consequence, but then everybody still felt sorry for her. They felt sorry for the child, but who did they not feel sorry for? Gary Shirley, even though he was the direct victim of the violence. They felt more fucking sorry for the fucking assailant who was pummeling this guy. Well, he's a man. He can man up. You know, they felt more sorry for the person who was doing the violence than the person who was the victim of the violence. I mean, they said that it was wrong and all that, and then on occasion the women said, "Well, you know, Gary deserves better." But then, th but at the same time, they they were saying that Amber needs all this help and guidance and and all that, and they were worried about the safety of the kid. It was basically went in order of importance. It was the child, Amber, and then Gary. Yeah. Um. 
Well, yeah, well, they, they, they mention the child because that's a way that, you know, this, this, this crime is aggravated even further. Mm -hmm. But at no point did they say, well, now we need to get special assistance for Gary because he's traumatized by this and, and he was a nice guy and he had the shit kicked out of him and all that. And, and because he had the shit kicked out of him on television for the world to see and all that, and he was a victim of this bitch's violence, you know, we, we, need, to, we need to get a violence shelter for him and, and we need to help him out and give him all these special perks and privileges and all this shit to help him cope with, with his victimhood. No, they didn't do that. They just said, yeah, he was a nice guy and he deserves better. And then they left it at that. Yeah. And, I mean, <clears throat> but at no time did they say that he needs all this special fucking attention and treatment that is reserved for women who are the victims of domestic violence. And that's the problem. Probably he's there. Well, he's your man. He doesn't need the treatment. It's like, what does that tell you about the treatment? That it's bullshit? Because that's what it is. Yeah. It's just a fucking, it's a little, it's a little feel bad for me club I can go to, basically. <laughs> Alright, we gotta finish this up, because we gotta go to bed soon. And as a mom, absolutely. She's entitled to her opinion, but that's a lot of all she's had, is her opinion. Oh. She's known this child from the moment she was conceived. She has been with her, she knows her, she cares for her. She she has a, a a history with her that you don't have. And okay, what's your fucking point? Just because, you know, the woman has a vagina and popped out a kid. Yeah, exactly. And then it's like, um, like it's it's just it's ridiculous. Like, well, look at this. Look look at uh uh well Thomas James Ball. You know, he cared for these kids and he was a father to them and all that. And then, <clears throat> and then because the woman. Alleged they did all this shit, or you know, a woman wanted to fucking extort him and all that. Nobody felt sorry for the guy. Well, you're just gonna have to suck it up and deal with it and all that. And I mean, they don't feel sympathy for men. I mean, it's like you know, back in slavery times, you know, uh, a couple hundred years ago. Well, well, you're you're out sweating in that hot field, and you're getting whipped and all that, and you're getting bit by bugs, and get your fingers tore up by cotton buds, and well, I don't, well, well, you know, you know, well, I don't feel sorry for you. You're a slave. That's your life. That's what you're supposed to do, man. Mm -hmm. All right, resume. So to poo-poo this or to dismiss this is just everybody's entitled to opinion, and she's got one. Seems to me to be disrespectful. Oh, okay, like, well... Here comes that disrespectful word again, like yeah, it was used against me. Exactly, and uh, honestly, like... Does anyone respect his opinion that he loves this girl? No. Cause well, they don't even respect the opinion of the girl who loves the oh, guy. I know, because well, well, she doesn't know. She's too young, even though she's an adult. The other thing is, like, it's like, you know... He, I don't personally endorse the fucking relationship, but it's like, they can't even fucking, you know, just respect his goddamn opinion for five fucking seconds. Like, they don't even, literally, he wasn't even given a chance to like, like, it's not like, you know, how it should be, is like, uh, he's, basically Dr. Phil's the judge, and he isn't supposed to have a bias against anything, but it's like, from the beginning he's been on this bitch's side. And he he's automatically dismissed everything the guy said from the beginning. He hasn't even listened to him because he's got a counterpoint to bring out. He doesn't bring out counterpoints to her. He doesn't keep it objective like, well, uh, you know, that ring story sounds like complete bullshit because you just, you know, he's always <coughs> completely side with her and asking questions, but he keeps questioning the guy and bullying him, not giving fucking respect to him, but respect to her. Like, what the fuck? And then, you know what? Oh, so... So, it's disrespectful to say, well, everybody's got an opinion, they're entitled to their opinion, but then it's not disrespectful to say, well, I'm going to kill that guy with a knife, man. Yeah, and it's perfectly okay. The guy, uh, if I would have been the guy, I'd be like, you know, you know, uh, after this would have been brought up, I'd be like, you know, I really don't appreciate that uh, no one respects my opinion, that I, I don't want to be stabbed by a woman with a knife. Like, because her daughter wants to be in a relationship with me. <clears throat> All right, let's uh, go. If you had empathy for her and understanding for that, it might help 
the discourse here. So. so he's supposed to be empathetic for her, but not the other way around, of course. <laughs> you, you expect him too much. What the fuck? But I think that goes both ways, Dr. Phil. I, I don't think she has respected me at all. And, and I'm not saying maybe I deserve respect. I know uh -huh. she is, is unhappy with what I've done. You, but see, you see that fucking, oh my god, like, like, the slave speaks up, how dare he! And you see the, the shocked reaction by the crowd when he's like, when, when he suggests the notion that it should be a two-way street. Like, how dare you? Like, I can't believe, I can't believe the slave can speak an English language. Well, no. well, they might as well just murder this guy on stage right now and chop him up into pieces. Because well, that's how justice is done. No. God, I can't believe, I can't believe, I gotta see that again. Her fucking, oh my god. Like, like, like literally, it's, it's like she's a fucking plantation owner and she sees a slave. It's like, man, this job sucks. Like, how dare you complain? No. Here, so. But I think that goes both ways, Dr. Phil. I, I don't think she has respected me at all. And, and I'm not saying maybe I deserve respect. I know she is, is unhappy with what I've done. But bigger than that is the disrespect she's had for her own daughter. What in this situation have you done that would inspire respect in her? I, I'm not saying I deserve respect. I'm just saying it hasn't gone both ways. And exactly. I, I am much more concerned about the respect she has for her own daughter. You're sounding pretty... Yeah, you know, honestly, maybe he's just really fucking, you know, woman. Maybe he's really sneaky and good at manipulating people. But honestly, like... He made uh, a good point. Exactly. It's like, he even said, he's like, you know, maybe I don't... Maybe I don't... Ex I don't deserve respect, but it's to a fucking street. And, and then he's like, and, and you don't even like, respect your own yeah, daughter. you don't even respect your own daughter, let alone me. And he, he expects her to respect the daughter before him. But she doesn't do either. He's sanctimonious and self-righteous in saying, you need to understand how much you have hurt your daughter here. I don't think she does understand. Yeah. Pause that. What, what do you say? I feel like we're in a custody dispute. You're the dad, I'm the mom, this is the child. This is actually my girlfriend. Yeah. Can you believe, like... Wait, go back, um, because I was trying to get my point. <clears throat> yeah. Go ahead. No, 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 uh, no, play it, because... How much you have hurt your daughter here. I don't think she does understand. What, what do you say? I feel like we're at a custody dispute. Oh, I pause, I remember. Yeah, Dr. Phil accused that guy of being self-righteous yeah. just because he, he expected that there'd be a two-way equal street. <laughs> How sanctimonious and self-righteous do you suggest that? You know women fought for equal rights and, and they, they fought for those so they could have their privileges. And how dare you, you know, suggest different. Like, you know what, we ought to say, fuck? when some bitch gets on a fucking soapbox about some petty shit, we can say, like, how sanctimonious and self-righteous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, Whatever balls he's dumbasses pitch, we ought to bat him right back at him. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Oh, man. The child. This is actually my girlfriend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She tells us that you have said, Mom, I have to protect him. No, she, you asked me why I didn't tell you. Why that I swear on my him. life because you had never had sex with this him. man and you said, Mom. I didn't. I had when did to I ever admit I had to protect him? him. No. When you're you're making me, it up. When you came to get the items from the car, you said I had to protect him. Yeah, his job. His job. Yeah, but I never admitted to hotel rooms. He didn't buy that ring. I purchased the ring. It was through church. When I you went to church on Sunday and he did not know. No, I only attended. kids are in the front row and she's in the back row. I only attended his church once. Did you invite her to your church? I told her that I went to a good church. Did you Did you ask her to come that Sunday? I I have told her that she could come anytime she wanted. No. Why did you go to the church where his wife and children were going to worship? Because he said it was a good church. And I wanted to move churches. Does that seem at all inappropriate to you? Well, no. Anybody? What is it? Oh, seriously, I think she's about to this say This is anyone. so petty. Yeah, like, seriously. It literally, it, like, they have nothing, so they just... <laughs> why'd you go to that church? Um, why does it fucking matter? It's it's public place. If I want to go worship there, I can. If I want to go worship some bullshit fucking religion, 
you know, yeah, I'll go do it. Like, wherever. No one's gonna... F like, why'd you go to church? Why? Why does it fucking matter which church I go to? Really, I'm starting to think they don't got anything on this guy. I don't either. Like, I, when it comes to this. Yeah. And maybe even the other one. I don't know the whole fucking story, and I really don't give a shit, because... I didn't even fucking plan on, you know, watching this video, just having to find it. And this is the situation that is going on. I don't care about what he did in the fucking past. If, he's, if he was a registered sex offender, he wouldn't have a fucking job as a teacher. And He for sure wouldn't have a job as a teacher. Exactly. Well, and depending on when he got the charge, if you did get him in 1998, and if they're... Don't they usually last like ten years or something? Well, you're on the registry for ten years, but you're but like the the, the I mean you're an adult. It's on your record for life. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. But but the registry only lasts for ten years. That's where everybody gets to see that you're that. Well, either either way, it's totally bullshit. Like, I don't know if I believe like he went to court for for it and all, but like, how would he have gotten a job as a teacher? You can't. What's well, that patriarchy? It's the principal and superintendent are probably men, and they just probably wanted to give yeah, them fresh I, children to fuck. It's, Man. Not, it's not like you can just say, "Oh shit, I just won't show my my record." Uh, it's a it's a government entity. It's the yeah. Department of Education. They're gonna have exactly. access to your shit anyway. Exactly. So I, I'm just gonna go with. And because it's you're gonna be around students and kids, they're probably gonna comb it even more carefully. Then, then let's say if you were to work at a gas station. Yeah. I don't know. Does that seem at all inappropriate to you? To invite someone to church? No, no, that wasn't a question. You know it wasn't. The question was. The question was, do you find it inappropriate that she would show up at the church where your wife and children go to worship, and she is in a relationship with you and sit in the back of the church? We we weren't even in that type of relationship. You said that you really didn't have a romantic interest in her during this field trip and that you called and spoke for six minutes because you weren't feeling well and you were going oh. down there that it was your call yeah. but I have phone records here that say this was an incoming call you're lying you do my phone records don't lie I didn't call her a yeah, she does. Phone records, I don't know whether you did or not I'm just telling what the phone record says did you call her back I don't remember calling her back. I don't. I don't know. If, 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 if I called her back, the one right before it would say that she called me. I, I don't know. I'm just saying that the phone record here says that it's an incoming call to your cell phone at four something in the morning. If you called her on a field trip, you're the chaperone. You're responsible for this kid. You're calling her at four in the morning. I I remember her calling me, yeah, telling me that she mom. was leaving. And you could ask the other student that was in the room. I'm asking you. They left. I'm asking you. Why you're calling my kid at four in the morning? Well, I'm grilling you. You seem unwilling to acknowledge that this mother is concerned that her daughter is involved with a teacher. Oh, look! He's like, he's like, why aren't you, why aren't you putting that noose around your neck and and just why aren't you? I mean, you should be doing that right now. Like, like you, you should be hating yourself. Exactly. Like. Like, why aren't you loading up that gun right now and putting it in your mouth, blowing your head off? I mean, why aren't you? I'm mad that you're not doing it. Like, <laughs> like he's like, he's a, he's it's like he, he's mad because the guy won't say that he did something that he may or may not have done. Like, let's assume that he didn't do it. He's he's mad because he's he's saying he's not saying that he did do it. Like, like why aren't you admitting to it? It's like because I knew it. Why aren't you fucking admitting to it? Like, <laughs> what? what is this? He's so stupid. I gotta watch it again. Cause he's, he's like, why aren't you? Why aren't you? <laughs> what the fuck? Call her to your cell phone at four something in the morning. Of course, I'm in the morning. On a field trip, you're the chaperone. You're responsible for this kid. You're calling her at four in the morning. I I remember her calling me, yeah, telling me that she mom. was leaving, and you could ask the other student that was in the room. I'm asking you. They left. I'm asking you why you're calling my kid at four in the morning. You seem unwilling to acknowledge that this mother is concerned that her daughter is involved with a teacher 23 years her senior that is it's kind of like hey we're in love take the high road it's much less traveled there isn't as much traffic on the high road it's easier to navigate she's saying look this is my daughter 
Don't turn her loose. Don't don't steal her adolescence from her. Don't steal her childhood from her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The fuck. God damn. So she has the right to fuck as many guys as she wants and go from guy to guy to guy to guy to guy, to guy just like I did. <laughs> Like, is that the only way you can relate to her? Like, you, you want her to be a fucking stupid bitch like you? Like, I mean, honestly, what could she possibly miss out on besides dicks? Like, I mean... Maybe getting a criminal record like yeah, Kesha exactly. and being like Kesha, a yeah. stupid whore. Or, or, or like, um, oh, uh, maybe, oh, maybe, maybe she's right, uh... Maybe if she doesn't live with a dude, she'd have to get a job. But we all know that if she wasn't with a dude, that dude, she'd just get with another one. Like, what is she gonna? I don't get what people even. I don't even see that excuse working with cat. Like, what are you gonna miss out on? Like, literally, I remember saying to her, I was like, "Well, I wouldn't keep you from doing anything. Uh, like, I expect you to like, you know, be in a relationship or whatever, like with me. So, you know, as long as you're not fucking other dudes, what could you do that I wouldn't let you do?" And I remember saying that, like, I didn't say it in those words, but I was like. You know, the only thing I expect from you is to basically be with me. So, like, what could she possibly miss out on? Other, you know, like, so I was like, oh, so you you just want some dicks, basically. Like, what could you miss out on? It's <laughs> goddamn. Like, fuck. You should have changed. Like, I'm almost twenty. I haven't had any fucking majestic life experiences. Ever since you know what high school or like, whatever. She's missing out her childhood. She's tw She's eighteen. She's eighteen. What childhood is there left? She's graduated school. If she, well, for for a woman, you get a your childhood lasts your whole life. But like, <laughs> you know, if she were a normal person, her childhood would be over. She'd be going. She'd have to get a job and support herself. She has a vagina though. So, what the fuck? Yeah, well, the obligation to support herself is no longer existent because she has a vagina. Or, or never even exists anyway because she had a vagina. It's so ridiculous.